This is Katie Joy Freeman again, giving some recaps of the RAW Health Expo in Santa Rosa, California. I went to a class this morning that I, I probably wouldn't normally go to, but I really wanted to challenge myself. And um, the gentleman who does our filming, Casey, is thinking about getting a dog. And I thought, well, it would be really wonderful to have some information for him on ideas around um, ideas on how to feed your pet. Should you have your pets be raw or, you know, what, what do you do with your pets? How do you feed them? So I went and I was pleasantly surprised. I was, it was very interesting. I'm probably going to be referring to my notes a little more in this segment because um, this is not really an area of expertise for me, but I really enjoyed learning. Um, basically, the, the thing that I learned the most was if you're, the, the things that they put in the animal foods um, are uh, Novali, Truesdell, who is part of animal shelters in town and she adopts pets and she's in a college right now for um, an animal behavior. She was the one who was moderating this. She was saying that most of the time you can read like maybe the first one or two ingredients in pet food and then after that you don't even know what it is. And that really um, diets designed for humans are better for your pets. Um, however, that a lot of pets do not do well on a vegan diet. So the raw diet may be um, raw, but not necessarily vegan. So what she was saying was, um, just do what you're doing right now with your dogs or with your cats or with your animals and add to it. So for instance, her suggestion was if you feed your dog or your cat kibbles, um, then go ahead and make, if you're making yourself a raw smoothie, then give a little bit of that raw smoothie to your pet. And she was saying just to kind of gradually, you know, add raw foods in. Um, they were saying if, you're, you know, if your pet is small, you want to be mindful not to give a little chihuahua a big apple the size almost of their head. And we wouldn't eat an apple the size of our head. You would give, you know, the, little, the littler animals little pieces. And so they were saying that animals need a lot of variety and cats in particular do not do well just eating um, the raw vegan diet, they do need some kind of animal product with them, but they, there were studies, I guess, shown that the, the, an, the, when the, there were raw products, whether it was meat or whatever, that were consumed by the animals, they did a lot better than the animals who ate anything that was cooked or milks that were pasteurized. Um, the animals didn't do as well. The things that happen happens for pets when they start eating more raw foods in their diet and again it could be things you're already eating um, in your diet that you're just giving them a little bit of and things like their breath clears up their skin is better their and their allergies clean up